What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. We've got some more mystery packs. These ones are the old faithful. They're always very good. Um, the thing that I really like about them is we get a nice variety of stuff. You never know literally what you're going to get. We sometimes get old stuff. We sometimes get very new stuff. We get in between. We get all kinds of things. So I'm interested to see what there is today. As always, it's always, uh, yeah, could be anything, basically. So I, I like that. Um... Yeah, let's see what we got. So, first pack. Okay, hollows. I don't know what's the kind of the uh, the way it's going to go in this one. We got Jirachi V. Okay. And then... Oh, ooh. I don't know if I have just the regular Ice Cube SR. I think... I know we we definitely have the special art. I don't know if we have this one though. That's cool. He's very sparkly. I like Ice Q. I rate him. He's cool. Um, yeah. So that was not bad for a first pack. We take that and a couple of throw in V's and EXs and whatnot. All right. Next one. Okay, all right, we're getting art rares now. Oh, character rares now. Absol art rare. Okay, we got the big giraffe. We got Skelly Dirge. And oh, we got a little, what's it called? Chakadet. Nice. Little, little baby shiny boy. Very good. All right, and uh, yeah, we got art rares and stuff are like criminally undervalued and underrated it's they're so cheap like uh this card shop that i get these from they have like a whole display case full of them and most of them are like 50 yen some of them are expensive you know ev and stuff like that is a little bit expensive but for the most part they're like dirt cheap and yeah i just they look so good I, I love all of them so i don't know if i ever decide to make my own mystery pack maybe we'll throw lots of art rares and stuff in there i don't know i kind of i kind of toyed with the idea i don't know how like postage and stuff would go but i don't know i feel like it'd be kind of cool i could put like the channel logo on the sleeve or something that would be pretty sick but i mean i don't know what would be like a a realistic way to actually do that in terms of like feasibility for shipping and stuff you know I'm, I'm super scared to ship cards i i'm so scared that they would just get destroyed in the mail or just disappear and um you know i don't want to deal with any drama like that that doesn't sound very fun at all okay a bomb of snow a retail bomb of snow and we have got school scream tail that's actually a good one yeah so i don't know it's kind of something i've i i thought would be cool to do because that's kind of, it's kind of my main thing. It's like the the thing that kind of I am known for, I guess, is opening mystery packs. It's kind of like <laughs> a large portion of my content is, is doing that. Obviously, we open just packs and stuff as well, but there's a lot of mystery pack action going on. So I don't know. It's something, yeah, I thought about it. I don't know what would be like a, a good price point and what would be like a good kind of way to actually make it happen feasibly. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you think that would be cool. I wouldn't be, you know, I would be much more on the vein of these kind of ones. Like you, Oh, Alteria GX. Interesting. Glaceon GX. What is this? And we got, and we got a Caterpie. And we got, ooh, I like this, Moltres. <laughs> and we got a little tiny rock. Yeah, I I feel like I would like to do ones like this, where it's like, even if you don't get, like, the good cards that are possible, you're like, I am happy with what I got. Like this, you get, like, a bunch of, you might get old GXs, you might get art rares, you might get shinies, you might get full arts. Like, I really like that. I think that's really cool. There's a lot of other ones that I open and it'll be like, yeah, you can potentially get something really good, but if you don't get a good one, you just get like, maybe like a couple of, you get like 
a few EXs or something. It just doesn't really feel the same. It, this feels like we're getting special cards, at least, which is what I like, you know. And we're getting all these cool artworks. And we're just getting, like, reminded of things that we... Yeah, we definitely have these cards already, but it's like, oh, I remember this card. This is a sick... I love this artwork. So I kind of like that. So that's that's kind of the, the vibe I would be going for. But I, I don't know what would be, like, a... You know, a reasonable price to actually sell something for it to also, you know, not lose money. That would be my main concern. Not lose money. And also... Um, you know, be like a good price point for people to actually buy. And then I still have to send it. Like nobody's going to be buying it in Japan. So I have to go like halfway around the world. I don't know. It's an interesting idea. I don't know how, how realistically feasible it is, but maybe one day, maybe what I would do is just like, all right, I'm going to have, there's like a hundred all together or something and that's it. And, um, you know, these are the kind of, top prizes you can get and this oh we got a nice we got a gold mew nice i do have this because i got the whole set um but i welcome a special mew any day look at that very nice i did not expect to get that i don't know which one i like better are these gold ones better than the new kind of bluish ones i don't know they both are kind of mm, they're interesting style i like it it's I'm glad that it's, like, a special thing for one set. And it's not, like, continued every single time. Because that might get a bit old. But, yeah. I realize I'm just keep chopping and changing, like, what, what I'm saying every two seconds. Because I'm opening packs as I'm doing it. But, I don't know. If that's something that people would be interested in, maybe. Could have, like, a... I could do it, like, what they do here. You have, like, a poster. These are the things you can potentially get. And then, like, you know... At a base level, like, you know, the worst you would get would be like, like this, you know, kind of a couple of cool cards. So you wouldn't feel like, oh, I've just been, <laughs> I've just been had. All right, we got Killer Watchroll. I have had mystery packs like that before where you just feel like, I don't want to say it's like, it's definitely not a scam. Like I've heard people saying that these mystery packs in Japan are a scam before it definitely not a scam like you definitely can get good stuff it's just how likely you are to get it if you buy one you're pretty unlikely to get anything good but you know there definitely is good stuff gettable in them and you know i think we've kind of proven that many times but there is just some which are way less good chance to win something and also way less um way less, you know, good base level packs, which is, is kind of my main, my main gripe with a lot of them. Okay, we got Wo Jin. Let's go quick. I'm running out of space in my memory card. We got Miascarada. We got Tingle. We're getting lots of EXs. Quick wow, blah, blah, blah. And I love this card. I highly rate this Deoxys. I love this artwork. It's so sick. It's honestly, like, one of my favorite SARs. I just... I don't know what it is. It's just, it's so cool. Got the Deoxys. We got the gigantic Orbeetle, <laughs> like, beaming him up. Got planets. I love it. I love it. I can't say enough about that. That's one of my favorite artworks. And it's so cheap. But I'm happy because I got a ton of them. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. I rambled a lot today. I apologize. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.